welcome everyone in this video we are going to see the cloud architecture design and a layered cloud architecture design so we are going to build up a cloud platform for building up a cloud platform we need a good architectural design because the design is very good the platform will work in very efficient manner so design is an important aspects so the cloud architectural design is an important aspect of designing a cloud that we are going to uh, build a cloud platform each and every cloud platform should have some goals to achieve that is scalability reliability efficiency and virtualization to achieve some set of goals there are some requirements to be considered what are the requirements to be considered to achieve this goal that is scalability reliability efficiency and virtualization we are going to see we are going to see that is the cloud architectural design must be an automated management what is mean by automated management it is nothing but the delivery of service should be automatically given to the consumer where even it is given by the request is given by the consumer the provider should give the automatically delivery of cloud services next one is the it must suppose the latest web standards like web 2.0 or higher and rest or restful apis next it must suppose very large scale hpc infrastructure with both physical and virtual in advanced days each and every days there is an upgradation in the hardware side and the software side so the hardware side update upgradation and the software side upgradation should not affect the cloud providers to give the cloud services so it must uh, support each and every level stage whereas in hardware and in, and as in software the architecture of cloud must be loosely coupled so it can be easily arranged and it can be easily give the services according to the user request next one it is it should be a cloud service should be an self service web portal what is meant by self service web portal because self service is nothing but what the consumer is desire to take he can directly go and take the set terms and set of services there should not be any restriction that is called an self self service web portal the cloud management software must be efficient to receive the user request and find the correct resources then the calls provisioning services which will invoke the resources in the cloud that is if the consumer is giving a request to the provider the provider should say, see the which type of services he is giving a request and uh, suddenly she should uh, the uh, cloud provider should answer for the request next it must be it must use a cluster architecture for getting the system uh, scalability the cluster architecture is nothing but grouping of architecture that is in cloud we are giving variety of services each and every services should be in a clustered architecture so that the service provider can easily provide with a list of services given by the cloud consumer the cloud architecture is designed must be reliable and flexible so that the providers can easily access everything whereas in the hardware and software is very important in designing a cloud platform that is a cloud architecture design because there is a rapid development in hardware like uh, processors memories and hard disk everything so it, it is possible it, it has made up possible to create the data centers with large volumes of storage space instantly we can instantly we have a large space data centers with the help of our latest hardware technologies whereas in the software side we will be having service oriented architecture which will be used for software as a service that is a which is used in the delivery of software as a service the web service software reflects the status of joining and leaving of each node server and performs appropriate task accordingly the virtualization is the main thing in cloud which is used for a quick delivery and the recovery from the disasters next we here comes the layered cloud architecture that is we have we are going to design a cloud architecture we have seen what are the goals we should be keep in mind before designing a cloud architecture and what are the requirements to be consider for designing a cloud architecture then then by which layer we are going to design a cloud architecture 
how we are going to design it we can see in the next diagram here you can see layer 1 is the infrastructure layer that is infrastructure as a service layer 2 is a platform layer platform as a service layer 3 is application layer software as a service it is a bottom up approach physical and virtual cloud resource provisioning each and every layer service can be provided by some service models that is private cloud public cloud and community cloud and hybrid cloud the layered architecture of cloud is composed of three layers called infrastructure platform and application the three layers of architecture with the virtualization and strategy of cloud provided hardware and software resources the service model that is deployment models how we are going to get that service by four types of cloud deployment model public private hybrid and community here we can we are given only public private and hybrid next one is infrastructure as a layer if we are getting a service as infrastructure as a layer what are the services we will be getting from the cloud mainly the infrastructure is the topmost layer that is a bottom uh, bottom uh, bottom up approach it is a first layer when we see from the bottom it is a first layer it will be as a name suggested infrastructure it will be giving the cpu storage computing resources like cpu storage to run variety of virtual machines it will it is a hardware associated layer which will be giving maximum of services as the in sense of hardware that is storages in a server network servers and the accessing speeds and everything next we come to the layer 2 layer 2 is a readily development some set of software is available in layer 2 which is called readily available for development and deployment of web application so if we are going to create some web application there will be a ready made tool for the development deployment and you can test the web application and you can execute it and you can run it and you can see the result and you can compare the result by taking a service of platform as a service that is layer 2 in this layer virtualized cloud platform act as a application middleware because it is a middle layer between layer 1 and layer 3 where this layer is the foundation for the application layer that is the above layer is called application layer that is layer 3 the layer 3 is a software as a service it is providing a software as a, it is an end user that is the user can directly access this layer 3 services the ready ready made software product will be available for his service that is software as a service so day to day office management softwares like information collecting document processing calendar and authentication enterprises also uses the application layer in business marketing sales that is customer relationship if you want to have a graph of business for the last one financial year and you have to differentiate the sales and the expenses so there will be some ready made application which is available in software as a service with that application you can inbuilt all the data and uh, you can see the output as you wish how you are going to differentiate your organization sales services marketing and uh, financial transactions and the supply chains and everything so this is an end layer there is a layer 3 which is called a software as a service which is also called as an application layer by using this layer you can have the customer relationship hr management and everything can be possible in this layer this is an end user product for example if someone is using a gmail it is also a software as a service